Cory Booker in his big moment, it's an historic move, a sitting senator testifying against another senator, Jeff Sessions, at Sessions' confirmation hearing for attorney general. However, last year, Cory Booker praised Jeff Sessions for honoring civil rights activists and for teaming up with him, Cory Booker, on the, quote, Booker Sessions legislation to award the Congressional Gold Medal to those who participated in the 1965 voting rights march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. Listen. This is truly one of my life's greatest moments. I am humbled to be able to participate here in paying tribute to some of the extraordinary Americans whose footsteps paved the way for me and my generation. I feel blessed and honored to have partnered with Senator Sessions in being the Senate sponsors of this important award. There are also photographs in that march of uh, Jeff Sessions arm in arm with Representative John Lewis, who also attacked Jeff Sessions. He said Sessions shouldn't be the Attorney General, attacking him before poor civil rights. Joining me now, attorney and former vice chair of diversity outreach at the National Diversity Coalition for Trump. She's Renelle. Donald Che, God bless you, Donald Che. Good to see you. I beat you to it. God bless you and God bless America. What How are you, Miss Lynn? I'm good, Miss Brunel. What do you think about <laughs> Senator Booker changing his tune about Senator Sessions? Well, we know that uh, uh, Corey, Senator Cory Booker is up to run for presidency in 2020, so we know that this was an opportunity for him to let the world see him. But what I will say is this. Um, you can't have it both ways, and that's the reason why the Democrats lost. You're talking out of two sides of your mouth. Last year, you're saying that you were happy and humbled to be a part of some amazing Congressional Medal of Honor with Jeff Sessions, and now this year, you're saying he doesn't have a record of civil rights or protecting civil rights. Which one is it? And what I'll say to you is this, Miss Liz. We know that Jeff Sessions prosecuted KKK members. We know that he uh, was also a person who, uh, when there was this, I think this manufacturing project, he made sure that there was funding down in Alabama in one of the counties. He, he has a record of helping, uh, and that county was 75 percent of African Americans. So I'm wondering why all of a sudden, if not political, uh, you know, uh, trying to get some political uh, points, why would you change your tune? Yeah, and Brunel, there's a press release in Cory Booker's office showing Booker and Sessions working together on that civil rights legislation. Yes. What do you think about that? I think that, you know, Jennifer, you know, uh, Jeff Sessions is, is a, a very good man of honor because it had to be pretty difficult to be sitting in the same room with someone who just praised you just a year earlier, probably have been praising him uh, after that, and then to find out that he is testifying against you. I, I know that had to hurt, but he's got to rise above it because in the job that he's going to go into, there's going to be a lot of uh, dissension and a lot of attacks. Yeah, Renell, I like to. So he's got to get ready. Yeah, here's the next topic. Who are you going to believe? Sure. Yesterday, left wing protesters dressed as KKK members accusing Sessions of racism. However, today, Fox spoke to some black Alabama voters, and here's what they had to say Jeff Sessions, magnificent man. Yes. He's very highly regarded in the Mobile area here, especially in the Trinity Garden community. Highly regarded. Jeff Sessions is the nicest person you ever want to meet. And, 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 and the news about him being racist, it's, it's, it's not true. Jeff Sessions was a guy who, who prosecuted the KKK, okay? And when they said he tried to interfere with the voters up in northern Alabama, it was the black folks who asked him to do that. Brunel, who do you believe? I believe the black voters in Alabama, I mean, that's who's down there with him. That's where he's from. And so I would, I would believe them. But not only that, Miss Lee, it's all over um, social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. There's black pastors that have stood up for Jeff Sessions. And so I'm going to go with the people that know him best, the people from his state. That's who I'm going to believe. I believe that he's not a racist, and I believe that he's going to make an excellent attorney general. Well, Ms. Brunel, God bless you, and thank you for coming on the I show. I receive it in Jesus' name. God bless you. Beat you to it again.